you leave Liverpool in, in September 1989. And looking back now, I know Ian Rush had obviously come back um, and he was the, the hero of, of, yeah. of, of the time. But 63 goals in 104 games, you know, you've been the, the golden boot in the, the title winning season, top scorer for Liverpool the, the following season. It seems, it seems incredible that they would, they would let you go now. I don't know. I just... Why do you think it happened? I'm not, not a clue. Not a clue. Um, but I go back to when, when, Ke- when Rushy went. Kenny said, like, you know, we'll play through the middle. We're going to play out wide. So, for me, when, when Rushy came back, he was a great player. Me mate, you know. I'm quite happy to, to fight for my place. You know, score goals in between two, three to two dozen go. Mm. But, I'm, I'm, you know, I want to stay, get a new contract, whatever. But, um, but no, Kenny said, you, 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 you're leaving. You, you, you know, you, you've got to go because you'll be sitting on your backside all, all season. I thought, that's strange, you know, the two seasons that are bad. Um, so, so, how did that hit you? Yeah, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't happy at all. And, and we, we actually played. We actually played the game. We always we played the Charity Shield against Arsenal. And, and on the Wednesday before, we always played a full-scale game. We always played in the, the Charity Shield at Anfield, played against the reserves. And I'm playing for the reserves. I'm thinking, I'm not playing. No, we're just going to play Rushy and Peter up front. So I'm not playing against Arsenal. So I put a right stint in, 90 minutes. We got beat 3-1, I scored. And then the, I'm in the dressing room. <laughs> and uh, Roy Evans comes up to me and says, Aldo, you're playing the Stafford Rangers tonight for the reserves. What? <laughs> Stafford Rangers, I was playing, I played against them for South Liverpool. Mm. So the reserve player, I said, F.O. I said, I'm not playing two games in one day, I'm 30 years of age. He said, I said, look, go and tell Kenny to tell me. And I want you to tell me, I want him to tell me I've got to play two games in one day. Come on, son. so he calmed me down, calm, just go and play. So, so I did, uh, you know, I, I went and played, we won 2-1. Mike Moore scored and I scored. Um, I couldn't sleep that night. I was knackered, but I couldn't sleep. I had to go and see Kenny the next day, so I went in and I can't see it to this day. I, w- I walked in the office after a minute, I, I told him a few home truths, um, which he probably wasn't happy with, but he's the manager, you know, Kenny. Uh, I respect the manager, but I don't respect having to play two games as a 30-year-old. In And the round was on the wall then, mm. I knew. Like, it I seems was, a terrible way to treat... But it was unlike Kenny to do that. Yeah. I don't know, I don't did know. You feel like, did your face not fit suddenly, or...? Yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 possibly. Um, so yeah, but then you know, the move, the move came. Um, I felt sorry for my wife and my kids because all my work, Newport, Oxford, to get to get home to Liverpool, and my wife Jones a home bird. Yeah, you know the kids are back home in the same school, with the school meeting with the mates. You know what I mean? They've set, they've settled down, and I've got to uplift them and take them to another country, and, well, another area that's never you yeah. know the, the first non bass player. Um, so yeah, I felt I felt really for the family. Did, but financially, I have to say, financially, it set sets us all up as a family. Did the coldness of the way the Liverpool as a club then treated you? Did it ever sort of sour things a little bit? Oh because yeah, you was, had to, you gone from the dream, yeah, fulfilling the dream, and then suddenly there was a kind of business, it was pure business, wasn't yeah. it? Really, spot on. You know, it's it's, it's sour. I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't be telling the truth if I said it wasn't sour for some time. Yeah, I was. Uh, I always remember the, the chairman, phone, I got a phone call by the chairman and I knew something was on the horizon. An agent had told me the club had been in touch and you'll be, the chairman's going to phone you up. So we got a phone call and he says, John Smith, can, can you come to the to Anfield now? We, we need to talk to you. So I knew. So I went, I went down, the agent there, his name was Dennis Roach, who'd brokered the deal between the two clubs. Um, so... I'm sitting there and, and he's trying to, you know, tell me things, this Dennis Roach, whatever. So I go, I go in with the, with the secretary and the chairman. Uh, the gloves are on. The gloves are on now. This isn't John Aldridge, the footballer. Mm. This is John Aldridge, the sour merchant. And he said, fantastic, John. You know, the chairman said, fantastic opportunity for you to go to Spain and for you and your family and give me all this palaver. And uh, I said, OK. How much are you going to give me? We don't do that at Liverpool. I said, well, I'm going nowhere. He said, how do you mean? I said, 
hold on a minute. I said, let me get this right. You, you paid £750,000 for me. Yeah. You, you sell me for £1.15 million. Yeah. You've had 60, 63 goals and, and two and a half of my best years. And you, you're, you're making money on me? Nah, sorry. It doesn't work that way in my, 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 my mind. And you're like, and Peter Robinson butts in and said, yeah, John, but you could have come here and had a nightmare. I went, what? <laughs> What's that all about? I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I've, I've just told you, you're making money on me. I know. So I was really, the gloves the gloves were on. And he said, how much do you want? And I went, I want a quarter of a million pound. Well, we don't, we can't do that. I said, well, it's up to you. I walked out and I went downstairs and this Dennis Roach come in and he said, uh, you trying to scoop at the deal? Well, he, he, he was nearly on the end of that. Because I had nothing to do. He's a, he's a broker. I said, you're a broker. Get out of my way. You, I can't swear on the television. Mm. You know, do one. And uh, anyway, next minute, uh, the secretary said, you know, will you come up and see see us? So I went up and sat down and and he, he, he said, uh, you know, we, we don't do this because we like you, John, and whatever. And and uh, I got a good whack. You did all right. I got, I did all right. Your but this was, this was the family... This was for my family. Yeah. Uh, and and, and, and me, me, my sons and my future grandkids. I had to do this and then. And and to be fair, the real social had were tremendous. The the financial deal that they gave me was was, was remarkable at the time. Yeah. Come back to that, John. Uh, just then your what was it like the emotional uh, moment? It was a game against Crystal Palace, yeah. nine nil. You were brought on to take a penalty and say goodbye. Yeah. What like you talked then about, I guess, with the business side of the club or with the, the people on the board, that had obviously gone pretty pretty cold and pretty sour, but with that sort of connection with the fans, I guess, oh, no. was still there. So that must have been a very emotional the fans, night. The fans, the fans didn't want me to go. He's talking about a local lad, a local fan. And I know, for a fact, can, can, can he, for the first time in his life, probably his only time, he got some, some bad mail mm. from fans. Uh, this is a local lad done well, you know, done what he had to do. And now he's getting shipped out to Spain. So the cop, I know the cop didn't want me to go. The fans didn't want me to go. I didn't want to go, but it was business, whatever they call it. And at the end of the game, you know, I scored a penalty, which was nice. It was just nice. You know, at the end of the game, the emotions are all over. My emotions are all over the place. Um, so, you know, I, I just didn't know what to do. The final, this was my last time as a Liverpool player. So I just threw me, I threw me, me shirt in and then, I, th I threw my boots and thankfully didn't throw them back at me. <laughs> um, and then when I ran off, that was one of the most emotional things happened to me in life. You know, I had to go and lock myself in the toilet and calm myself down a little bit because I knew it was all over for me. That was it. <laughs>